kids come in and they take a, if you take their photograph, they look at it. Oh, that doesn't look like me. No, no. This camera looks like you. The camera that you're used to using has a wide angle lens and when you hold it like this, your face is elongated, right? So I have to reinvent ourselves around what kids think they look like. Because they don't even know anymore. They just, they're like, oh, little filter. Look at me. And then when I take it, it's real. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Midlo Connect. I'm Justin Atterbury with Guild Mortgage. I'm Audra Fowler with Rose Gold Realty Team. Today, we are at the well-known Ivy Photography near downtown Midlothian. Let's get to know a man who humbly acquired an established business right here in Midlothian, who literally built the newest location from the ground up. And without further ado, let's get to know Chris, the much-loved owner of Ivy Photography. Oh, my name's Chris Smith. I own Ivy Photography. Uh, I've lived in Midlothian since 1996. I actually lived in Ovilla probably for most of that time, but at the time when people asked, no one knew what Ovilla was, so you just say, I live in Midlothian. Yeah, photography uh, came to me as a kid. My grandfather was a photographer, hobbyist. Um, when he retired from being a pharmacist, he bought as a retirement gift for himself, uh, the first one hour photo lab that was ever sold in Texas to anyone other than like a professional photo processing center. He was like, I'm gonna process photos. So my grandmother had a heart attack, not a real heart attack, but a money heart attack. Uh, so he spent half their retirement, I think on this photo processing center. So from the time I was 10 years old, like 1983, I was standing under him as he's one hour processing film. And he had this box. So I probably found it one day. And as soon as I found that box, it was like the light, it was magic. Everything was cool in there. It was metal and it all screwed together. And it was just this thing you can't take your hands off of. And I still have that camera uh, It sits in my office today. So I still have it. So that's really probably where the love of it came. I had kids, so I wanted to take their pictures. Got a camera, went to the little league soccer game, you know, so that whole track of well, my kids, I'm going to take these pictures. I can probably take them better than whoever else is here. And then someone says, hey, can you take my kid's picture? And as soon as that happened, I was like, okay, I see a path for this. Um, and that, that was sort of the impetus for you want to be a, I didn't really want to be a professional photographer. I just, just led there with several, you know, building blocks. I think it's one of those weird things where really good photographers that I know you know, you hear people, they're like, oh, he's left brain, he's right brain. I don't really even know which one of those is the art side and which one's the science side, but you hear people say that. I just happen to be one of the few people that has an artistic feel, but I also have a, I'm, I have a science degree. So I understand the systems and I understood the math and I understood, you know, there's a lot of math in photography, a lot of physics, uh, you know, the, the lighting and, you know, refraction and you know, a reflection and all these things that go into what, what, why does it look good? I was a vendor at some wedding shows here in the area. And at one of those wedding shows, this, what turned out to be a mutual friend comes up to me and she says, Hey, the Ivies are considering retiring. They want to sell their business. At the time at my corporate job, they were corporate, but at my regular job, it was at the end, you know, you cycle through a career and you're like, okay, I kind of see where I may want to make a change. We met, struck up an arrangement. They actually financed the business for me. self -fin They financed it. I gave them a dollar for a deposit. On my last payment, they gave me the dollar back. I have it in my desk. Really cool piece. January 2nd, 2009, I started as the new owner and a new, corpor new corporation. Um, and we've been, that's 15 years this month. So we've been going, 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 going since. And it's been, you know, up and down, but mostly up, you know, we, we're, we're making it. I have a lot of customers who tell me, I remember Mr. Ivy, he used to take my soccer photos and I was 10. Well, the, they're moms now, they're 35, you know, coming and bringing their seniors or, you know, high school kids by for whatever it is. And they're like, I think Mr. Ivy did our photos. And that wasn't me. People still call me Mr. Uh, Chris Ivy all the time. You know, that's Chris Ivy. That's not my name. But that's okay, I don't care. <laughs> I'll be Chris Ivy, whatever. You just 
buy something. <laughs> I got an opportunity. I don't, this is one of those, people call it a God thing, but just a who knows why. I was, I bid on a property to move. We were gonna renovate a property and build a studio. It's just down here on 7th Street. Um, we'd lost the bid. It's like, oh. I turned the corner after I drove over there to sulk. You know, I was like, I wish we would have got that. And I turned the corner and I drove up sixth from where that was. There's a guy putting a sign in this lot, a real estate sign, putting like right now. I was like, okay. So I called him. How much is that lot? He told me, okay, I don't have that much. I'm going to call my family. My family helped me out. We bought the lot. We built this building, that was 2011. So we had that original location behind Sonic, and then we've had this building since 2011. People think it's a house. There was a home here. Uh, we had some a family drive from Minnesota who was on a like a legacy or you know a family tree tour or whatever looking at, and they came here and they're like, my grandmother lived here in the 30s. And they came and visited. They're like, it wasn't this. I'm like, no, I built this from the ground. Because when I bought this, it was literally empty. It had an old sidewalk. So we built it as a studio. It is a stu it's only for, we have a camera room, small office, you know, a sales room and a storage room. <laughs> Don't go up there. When I bought the business, I was lucky enough to have Mrs. Ivy stay on with me for a year and sort of show me, I hadn't owned a studio. I was just a guy with a camera. So she stayed on and not only just showed me how her business ran, but also introduced me to the community. They, uh, we've been working with these, the Midlothian High School Band. We've been working with them since 1999, right? So almost 10 years. Uh, this is this person at a bank. This is this person on the council. This is uh, this person with the police department. And she knew she had those relationships. They had cultivated those through meeting parents at soccer games or photographing their families. And, and at the time they were the big studio in a small town, right? Unfortunately, we've had students that have passed away and they call. This family doesn't really have any photographs of this child. They have phones, but they don't have any portraits. Do you have anything? Well, yeah. Five years ago, we photographed this soccer team and that student's on that team, whatever it was. And that's another, you know, just, I think just being there and being there and being there just builds relationships just naturally. But then when you do it in the right way and we do it from our heart, we, I wish we did it for money. You know, I mean, nobody's getting rich <laughs> being a, you're not going to get rich being a photographer in a small town. It's just, you're just, I'm trying to feed my family. You're trying to get some pictures and hopefully that meets where we can do it again next year and do it again next year. And I think it's all just the relationships that we've built, you know, the trust in the community. I remember the first time I went to Heritage High School, that was, they, they booked us on a whim. I mean, they only booked us because they think they were just mad at the other photographer. And at the time, we only had one small school. We were nothing. I, I don't even know. I shouldn't even probably have said, yes, I can do that. But I've always built my business that way. So can you do this? Oh, yes, we can do it. Because you know, if you don't do that, for every one you turn down, it's 10 more behind that that you turn down. When they booked us and I met them, it, it didn't start off great. You know, we made mistakes. They, I went over there and uh, I met Krista Tipton. She's one of my favorite people. But when I very first met her, she tried to put us in a closet that was like literally <laughs> the size of, you know, a broom closet. I was like, we can't make the photos. <laughs> and so, but learning each other, I, she had to understand, oh, I didn't know y'all needed that. And it's that way throughout the district now. You know, I, I can call somebody and say, hey, we're going to do, uh, we wanted to do the Midlothian Youth Soccer League. There's 1,400 kids in that. They want it done in one day. I don't have a place to put 1,400 students, but because I've built relationships in the district, I can call someone at the district and say, do you guys rent out the gyms like on a Saturday? And they're like, yep, we do that. And we trust you to have access to that. So we pay their fee, you know, make sure it's clean. And then that relationship lets another, and they're not even associated. The kids maybe go to school mid Midlothian, but they're not associated with MISD, but we've built a relationship of trust and they trust us to have the facility. And that furthers another relationship with that that league now has trust for us. I think all those things just go together. It's just like anything. I mean, all we are is each other. I don't think I really realized how tied we were to the community until 
the lockdown during COVID. And obviously that was hard for all of us. Very scared, no one knows, we don't know. What are we doing? Why are they telling us this? Are we gonna get sick? I don't know. I'm sitting on Facebook because I don't have anything else to do. And I have this photographer friend in Boston. She sends me this article. This lady is literally walking down the street from brownstone to brownstone and, ha and having people come on their porch and take their photo. I was like, we can do that. So I got my guys together, got on Facebook, started chatting it up with, you know, our page. We had a decent following, our, all of our personal pages. What if we came to your neighborhood and you just come outside and we just take your picture? And we'll do it for free because we have nothing else to do. And if it so happens that somebody buys a picture or donates money or whatever because they feel like it, then we can stay open. Because we were going to, I mean, just like anybody else, we're looking at, I don't know what to do. How are we going to do this? We need this community. We all have to rally around each other. But uh, I mean, we need our, we've never had to ask for anything. We've always just grown our business organically. It's been fun. And that was the first time where I was like, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I have four employees myself. What, what are we going to do? We get in the car, we get on Facebook live. We show up in a neighborhood and people are literally standing outside. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Obviously no one has anything to do. We did that for five weeks, four days a week. We photographed 30, 400 families for free. People bought some pictures, right? Enough. Like we stayed open, groceries, whatever, nothing. We weren't, we weren't open for business, but we were doing something. That then in turn bought us more favor, more compliments, more like, hey, I remember when you came by my house and took our family photo. We still have it. I didn't, you don't remember. We we're literally running yard to yard. I don't know who the people are. But I think that is when we sort of figured out like, okay, enough people knew who we were. Enough people were savvy enough to use their computers and figure it out. We figured out a method that was, I mean, fairly organized. And I think when people started coming outside and they were cheering when you turned down their cul-de-sac, they're here, <laughs> right? I was like, okay, I think this is going to be, we're going to be fine, you know? And then I think after that, it just gave us confidence to say, you know, we should really do more. The COVID experience and the portraits, portraits, um, I think that really kind of told me that we had done good things and that we would continue to do good things for the community. Learning Chris's heart reminds us why we truly love connecting with the local business owners here in Midlothian and the surrounding areas and telling their stories. Yeah, especially in Chris's case, this is a man who in the midst of the COVID shutdown would go door to door taking photos for families to bring them that joy and, and joy in the, a time of absolute uncertainty. Hearing his background made me fall in love with Ivy photography that much more. You know, talking about how wonderful it is to connect with the small business owners here in Midlothian and the surrounding areas. Really, that's one of the things that makes Midlothian so special is you get that small town feel whose roots run deep for the love of one another. Midlothian is a great suburb of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. It has a lot to offer in and around the community. If you're looking to purchase a new home and or sell your existing home within the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Justin and I would love the opportunity to walk you through that process. So click the link below to schedule some time to discuss your goals. And really between the both of us, right about 40 years of experience, it would be an honor to earn your business. I'm Justin Atterbury with Guild Mortgage. I'm Audra Fowler with Rose Gold Realty Team. We'll see you next week. Okay. Meditating. Om. Um.
learning Chris's heart. On the left side. Reminds us why we truly love connecting with the local business owners here in Midlothian and the surrounding areas. We'd go door to door to families and take pictures of the family to bring them that joy and, and just in the oh you know talking about how wonderful it is to connect with the small business owners 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 yeah learning <laughs> hearing his background made me fall in love with ivy photography that much more and it's good that it's ivy photography and not him i don't think his wife would like that freaking idiot <laughs>